but I believe he's a shovel nose snake. And not a ground snake. Ooh, he's so aggressive. Look at him doing his little strikes. It's cute. He is such a cute. Look at him. Look at him striking. He's like, look at me. I'm big and I'm bad. I'll take you on. It's like going up against Godzilla. He has no fear. Oh, he's going to make it in life. So Monica's dad found a snake in his yard today. At first I thought it was a western ground snake, but now I think it's a western shovel nose snake that just doesn't have any red in its pattern. Now I've never seen a shovel nose that had no real red coloring in its pattern in this black and white. Usually they have red in them and kind of mimic like a coral snake. Uh, this one here, if it was mimicking, it would be mimicking more of a California king snake. Probably because there's not many coral snakes in this area. Now these guys are eating scorpions and centipedes and a whole variety of invertebrates. So they're really great to have around your house. So yes, I originally thought this snake was a ground snake, but now I believe this to be a shovel nose snake. If you have a guess on what it is, please let me know. But I believe this to be a shovel nose snake, just missing the red color because it kind of is a reddish it's hard to see a couple of scales there but the scales and the head shape just doesn't match up for a ground snake for me but of the shovel nose snakes they're in the same genus sonora so they're 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 somewhat related they're all colubrids but yeah really cool snake if this is a ground snake this would be like an adult if this is a shovel nose snake this would be uh, a juvenile and I'm 99% sure certain this is a shovel nose snake. And then that's how they dig in the sand. There's his head popping back up right there. Well, here we are, letting our little shovel, shovel nose snake go here. Alright. This nice wood pile here. He definitely is a cool little snake. Aggressive little guy, too. smoothly crosses the ground there and up in the grass. but he's a very very aggressive snake which is good you know he'd be on the bottom of the totem pole as far as being someone's meal a roadrunner or even a collar lizard could easily eat him along with many other types of snakes and there he goes up into the wood here so yeah, that was the snake. Let me know if you think this was a western ground snake or if it was a western shovel nose snake. You are so tiny. Oh, he bit me. He bit me again. He keeps biting at me. His, his teeth are too small to break skin, so he can't hurt me at all. He's also non-venomous. But man, look at him. Thinks he's so big and bad. <laughs>